Good morning, everyone. Tony here. So in this video, I want to answer a specific question that came in through our Facebook group. So the question was, I've gotten credentialed with the Medicare uh, as a participating provider for mobile PT. I've submitted, I haven't, have not submitted any claims yet. I spoke to a new patient today who has Medicare and is doing outpatient PT, OT, and SLP two times a week. And the family wants someone coming to their to do therapy at home in addition to the two days a week. The patient is post CVA and treatment is covered, uh, which that's to be determined. Uh, I'm gonna give you examples for both, whether it's covered or non-covered, medically necessary or not. If the outpatient clinic is billing part B, can I bill part B also? So the simple answer here is yes, absolutely. Like we've had multiple instances of two different providers, pr both providing the same discipline, both part B providers, both helping the same beneficiary. Uh, whether it be for the same condition or different really does not matter. What I would say is that the family and hopefully the patient is wanting you to come in and provide physical therapy services. The fact that the patient is receiving therapy services somewhere else, as long as it's part B, if it's part A, now, now it's a different situation. But assuming it's part B, there is no restriction on a patient receiving part B services from two different providers for the same discipline, as long as it's medically necessary and as long as they're covered services. Okay, so in that respect, you absolutely are fine to just treat the patient as normal, um, get, you know, do an evaluation, develop a plan of care, have a physician or non-physician practitioner who's involved with this patient's care, review and sign, certify your plan of care. You're free to submit claims. Uh, that being said, if you determine after an initial evaluation that, you know what, these services are really more than what's medically necessary more than what's reasonable, then now they're non-covered services. In that case, you would have an ABN on hand. You would review the ABN with the patient. You would indicate with the patient or family or whomever is signing uh, you know, the paperwork that, look, this patient's receiving physical therapy services already two days a week. That is what's medically necessary. If you would like more, in addition to medical necessity, um, then you're, you're welcome to receive it. You're welcome to pay for it. You provide them the ABN. You indicate on the ABN form why these services are not considered medically necessary because the patient's already receiving, receiving the covered services from another provider. You, you document your cash rate for the services they are provided. You issue the ABN, a copy for them, a copy for you, the, the patient or the family, um, selects an option out of the three options at the bottom of the ABN, and now you provide cash-based services because you've determined that what the other therapist is providing is covering what's medically necessary and reasonable. So just to summarize, I mean, I mean it's a pretty straightforward situation here. Um, review CMS Chapter 15 on medical necessity. Review CMS um, Chapter 30 on ABN, mandatory ABN, voluntary ABN, uh, triggering events. And I think you'll pretty clearly see there is no problem with a beneficiary receiving covered services from two different providers. Uh, as long as it's medically necessary and reasonable. If it's not, then you go the ABN self-pay route. Guys, I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you've read CMS chapter 15, section 220, and you've read CMS chapter 30, and you still aren't quite clear on what the solution is, let me know. Drop me a comment in YouTube. Um, in the YouTube video description, I'll share links to those two documents for you. But otherwise, keep the question coming. I love answering these questions. These are real situations that real therapists are dealing with. And if you have a question like this, I guarantee 100 other people have the same question. They're, they're just not ready to ask it yet. Guys, enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'll catch you next time.